Hi friends, I'm Jennifer Scott and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you are among the makeup obsessed, the skincare obsessed, then you have found the place to be, or at least a place to be. I gotta say, this little group is growing and I am so grateful to all of you that show up, watch my videos, leave comments, give me thumbs ups. Thumbs ups? Sure. It means the world to me. Today is actually my 99th video. And I think today or somewhere around today is like my one year anniversary. So if you were to go back and look at my very first video, which I don't recommend you do that, but if you were, holy crap, it's a shit show. Now I'm not saying this is any glamorama game we got going on here. However, uh, this girl has come a long way. I have learned so much along the way. I am super grateful to the people who have helped me, who have given me tips, tricks, full-on tutorials, uh, mainly my friend Maria Pabaco La Rotunda. Maria, I love and adore you. I could not have literally done any of this without you. Now, I'm not saying I'm some giant YouTuber. What I am saying is I'm someone who has like, been having the time of her life learning, trying, failing, trying again. I'm just having so much fun doing this. And at my age, I think learning is like key to getting older, just trying new things, stepping out of your comfort zone. At least that's like key for me. And so you guys, for being here, for showing up for me on my 99th video, I am beyond grateful. Thank you. All right, blah, 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 sentimental crap, bye. What we're all here for is another high-low video. Yep, you guessed it. Of course you guessed it, you saw the thumbnail. Now this isn't my normal high lows only because it's not like, you know, a $30, $40 mascara versus an $8 mascara. It's a $15 mascara from Sephora versus a $7 mascara from Target. Why am I doing this? I mean, they're both kind of low, low dollar wise. Well, in this case, the high low is high it's from Sephora, low it's from drugstore slash Target. All right, let's talk about our drugstore Target Mascara from e.l.f. It is their new launch. It is called the Big Mood. It is the Mega Volume and Lifting Mascara. Now, if you know me, those are the two things that are super duper important to my lashes. I want huge volume and I want them to lift and stay up all day long. Okay, e.l.f., if you're going to give me that for seven bucks, then we're going to get married. Because most of you know that from Maybelline, I love the Falsies Lash Lift. Like, as far as I'm concerned, Drugstore, like, this is the one. If you love Drugstore Mascara and you don't have Maybelline's The Falsies, then you need to get it. Because as far as I'm concerned, every Drugstore Mascara needs to stack up against this one. Heck, every mascara needs to stack up against this one. Now, of course, when I saw a new launch from e.l.f., I had to get it. So this one here is in the shade Pitch Black, which according to their website is their darkest black. I think it comes in the shade Black and Pitch Black. So of course I wanted the darkest one. All right, uh, let's get at it. So like I said, it cost me $7 at Target. It is 0.36 ounces, which is a good amount. Just look at how pretty this packaging is. It is shiny, it is purple, it is pretty. All right, but let's talk about what's on the inside. So according to e.l.f., it is plumping, lifting, holds a curl because it uses jojoba wax. It is smudge and flake resistant. We will see about that. And in the other corner from Addison Ray's brand item, we have the Lash Snack. At $15 and 0.22 ounces, it is smaller in the amount we get, but it's higher in the price we pay. So we're paying more than double for this and we're getting less product. So it better be good. So the claims for the Lash Snack is that it is a lengthening mascara. It is flake free and smudge proof. Again, we'll see about that. And you know how I love a package that does this. There's something so satisfying about that. Oh, and she's pretty inside. Mm-hmm, look at that. It's like a silver metallic, pretty. I mean, what does that matter? It's just pretty. But here we go, pretty silver packaging with this nice blue ombre matte effect at the top, lovely. Now you know how much I love comparing mascaras and I usually try to do like attributes to like attributes, but in this case, that's not gonna happen. So what I really wanna see is how both perform individually. I mean, I love mascara. I'm always looking for the best mascara. The Edison Ray item is supposed to be a lengthening mascara, whereas the one from e.l.f. is supposed to be a mega volume and lifting, like curl holding. So they're two different types of mascaras, but if they both work great, I can have two new mascaras. All right, let's stop the chit chat. Let's just put it on. All right, it has been a while since I have done a mascara head to head high low. I think I normally do the high version on the right and the low version on the left. 
So let's go with our lash snack on the right and see how we like it. So first of all, ooh, that is a, a tiny little spiky wand. Not my favorite, and I gotta say, I don't think I've seen other wands quite like this. I mean, it is a lot smaller than any of my other wands. Let's just quick hold up, oh, the giant elf one in comparison. Can you see? These are very, very different. I mean, this one here almost looks like it would be great for the lower lashes because it is so tiny. Whereas this one here is my kind of wand. Ooh, let's see what happens. Like always, I'm going to apply and I'm going to do a wear test. And at the end of the day, I will come back to you with like smudged, ruined makeup that is melting off my face, especially since it is high 80s today. Um, and the humidity makes it feel like it's in the 90s. Isn't that great? Okay, so this is going on nicely. Have I already gotten some down here? Oh, probably. I gotta say, right off the bat, it is way better than I expected. I'm getting separation of my lashes. You know me, I like to go in and in and in. But this is nice because I'm able to get those tiny little lashes in the corners, which is huge. Now I am getting mascara all over the place. I have it on my lid, I have it underneath here, but I will let it dry and then I will just remove that. Let's get some more on the wand and I'm going to pull out these end lashes over here like I like to do. I'm like right off the bat, this is pretty. I mean, it's really pretty. I'm just sitting over here being judgy because, you know, Edison Ray, famous, TikToker, she's adorable. Was I expecting much out of her line? No, I kind of just felt like, and I don't know if this is true or not, this is just me saying stuff. I kind of felt like, you know, she probably had some sort of brand deal where she was just slapping her name on products, and maybe that's the case. Um, but in the case of this mascara, that's not a bad thing. All right, let's get these lower lashes and see. Yeah, this little wand is really nice for the lower oh. lashes. Hey, Dottie. Oh. Dottie's got a cough. I like this a lot. It's super easy on the lower lashes. Let's just look in this mirror over here real quick. Did I just get mascara on my nose? Did I literally mascara on my nose? Ugh. God. Lucy. Of course, the cat is playing in the Target bag full of makeup. All right, just one more little coat on the lower lashes, just to thicken them up a little bit. Naked lash on this side, a lash snack on this side. I really like it so far. All right, so big mood from e.l.f. Of course, there's that big wand, that hourglass shape that I'm so fond of. I think, and I've said this before, I think that the first time we saw this hourglass shape wand was the Better Than Sex. And of course, from um, woo, all glamour all the time. So when we saw it in a drugstore version, it was from L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Can I even open this? I have not used this in a while. Yeah, so, and actually the L'Oreal Lash Paradise isn't as hourglassy as the e.l.f. one. Mm, okay. All right, just, just quit your chit-chatting, Jennifer, get at it. Let's get these lashes going. All right, so we're expecting a volume and a big curl that's going to last. And that's what I always want. Now, this is their darkest black shade. Neither of these formulas were in waterproof, which we all know I prefer waterproof, but we will really find out how smudge resistant and flake resistant they are. Now, it is always my preference to have big, full, almost false looking lashes. But in addition to that, I want my lashes to stand up all day long. The minute they start falling and start going like stick straight out, I'm done with you. Like I will never use that mascara again. So I'm hoping that this one is going to stand up. I'm probably gonna wear this for about six to eight hours, depending how long I can tolerate in the heat having this makeup on. Because I don't know about you, but when it's hot, I just don't want to wear your makeup. And I have not worn a full face of makeup a lot this summer. It just has not been my vibe. Now I said I wasn't gonna compare the two because they are like different formulas with different purposes, but 
off the bat, I feel like this one here is definitely darker. The e.l.f. in this shade, what did I say? It's pitch black is the color. It's supposed to be their darkest black. And I don't think it's as dark as this side. What do you think? All right, let's keep putting it on because we all know I usually do three coats on my upper lashes. I am never looking for like that natural lash look. I don't even see the point of that. I want to see all of my lashes. I want them to be curled. I want them to be dark. I want them to create a breeze every time I blink. And of course, I always have the one rogue lash down here in the corner that just won't curl. It's like, nope, we're not doing it. We're just sticking straight out. We don't get along. Now, we have to remember, this is a $7 mascara, but you know, my $8 Maybelline fucking kicks ass. Woo! God, the cursing. All right, here's the thing with this wand. It's too big. This hourglass shape, it's too big. It's actually making it hard for me to get my lower lashes because where it goes, can I hold many more products? Where it goes in, in the center, it goes too far in. So in order to get my lashes, I can only use the top portion of the brush. If I try to use the bottom portion of the brush, I'm actually going to poke myself and get mascara all over the place. So this is just, it's too big for me. And I don't feel like my eyes are big or small. I think they're medium. I think they're regular. And this wand, it's just too big. And that has never been the case for me. Ugh, damn it. I'm gonna call that a first strike. Um, I also feel like because this wand is so big, it's coating them and they're looking messy. Like they're not looking like smooth. Mm. Mm. It's not awful. Like. Let's just give it its minute, let's, okay. I'm also leery to get these lashes in the corner here. I'm just afraid I'm gonna get it all over my face. Okay, so this you do have to be very slow and super precise with. And you can really only use the tip of the wand, which is annoying for the lower lashes. All right, here we are. We have the big mood on the left. We have the lash snack on the right. What are you thinking so far? I mean, if you came up and started talking to me, you wouldn't be like, oh, her left lashes look different than her right lashes. So that's a good thing. The left side definitely took a little more work to get it to where it is now. The right side went on really easily. And I actually like that little brush. I never thought I would say that because I normally don't like that at all, but I really liked it. All right, so we're gonna pause right here. I'm gonna wear this for as long as I can in this heat and humidity, and then I will come back to you with a melty face, but hopefully my mascara will hold up. So I will see you in a bit. Hi friends, I am back. It is seven hours later. Let's see where we are with these mascaras. All right, so I have done nothing to my face in the past seven hours before I hit the record button. I just did a little dab dab here and there because I am a shiny and no thank you. All right, let me see what we're looking at. So on the right side with the Lash Snack by Item, I see no fallout, no smudging, no smearing. And I did have a little bit of like tearing up earlier. I don't know what, it, I don't know why, but I was getting a little bit of watery eyes and nothing there. It looks great. All right, $15 well spent. I'm gonna continue to use this. My lashes are still standing up and that wasn't one of the claims, so yay on that. I like it, I like it. $15, yep, I'll do it again. Now let's see how the left side did. Like I said, I had some tearing. If you see right here, there is the smudged mascara from, I literally just took a tissue like under my lashes and kind of dabbed it. So when I did that, that obviously just pulled the mascara. Um, I have a lot of fallout here, so this is one giant fail for me. My eyes water every day, even though I do take a Zyrtec for allergies, and I get like a mild tearing. It's not bad, and normally, like, this is one of the reasons why I wear waterproof mascara, but this wasn't in waterproof. If I come across a waterproof version, I will buy it and try it because, like I said, it was seven bucks. Who cares? I'll try it again for $7. But the non-waterproof version, it smudges, it smears, it flakes. It did not hold its claims except my lashes are, they are standing up, but I don't think 
they're standing up as well as the left side, which was just a lengthening mascara, according to its claims. But as far as I'm concerned, it is a lengthening and lash curl holding mascara. So I might wanna let them know their mascara does more than they think it does. I mean, like all this flaking here, killing me. Like I can't have that, cannot have that. I guess this is one of the reasons why I don't understand why people don't like waterproof mascara. Like for me, if I have a waterproof version, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, it doesn't flake. That's why I like it. I know some people talk about, well, it's hard to remove. I use cleansing bombs. It comes off just fine. Or if you just want to use non-waterproof and it'll come off on its own, you pick. Ugh, this is a disaster. And the package is so pretty. Why you gotta do me like that? All right, folks, there you have it. The clear winner today is Lash Stack from Item. Now, if you've tried either of these products in the comments below, let me know what your experience has been. Were you able to find a waterproof version of the e.l.f.? Have you given Lash Snack a try? I gotta say, Lash Snack, it's kind of hard to say. It's very like Lash Snack. What, were they drunk when they made up that name? Lash Snack. No. All right, friends, there we have it. Another high-low mascara video. You know I love my mascaras. There will be more of these in the future. I hope you liked this one. If so, please give me a thumbs up if you're new here. Please hit that subscribe button. I love making new friends. And do me a favor, share this video with a friend. I can always use more friends. Well, dear friends, I want to thank you so much for being with me, and I'll see you real soon. Mwah.